New tonight, the family of a woman shot and killed by Stockton police is now filing a lawsuit. We spoke to her daughter when the shooting first happened back in February 2022. I feel like they wrongfully killed my mom. Um, there were so many other ways they could have went about it. Stockton police releasing multiple surveillance videos and body camera videos showing the moments leading up to the shooting death of 54-year-old Tracy Gaeta. This video shows an officer stopped at a red light when the driver of a gray car hit the officer's car before driving off. That led to a chase. Police say Gaeta made a U-turn on the on-ramp of I-5. Surveillance video shows Gaeta driving down a one-way and going through a red light. The pursuit ends at a dead end. A Stockton canine officer pulls in behind her and that's when this happens and a warning the video you are about to see is disturbing 19 is ramming me he's ramming me Copy. 16 seconds after the officer initially opened fire on Gaeta, the body camera video shows her vehicle move forward. The officer opens fire again as Gaeta begins to drive. While attempting to turn the car around, the officer opened fire again. In total, about 30 gunshots can be heard in a span of 32 seconds. My mother was scared and, you know, she would never try to hurt anybody, harm anyone. So I think the officer, you know, didn't need to use such excessive force and use his gun. The family attorney releasing this statement saying the disregard for Tracy Gata's life by a member of the Stockton Police Department is shocking and outrageous. We look forward to bringing justice to her family. Miss Gata was not intoxicated. She was experiencing a mental health crisis. Her family is shocked she would be involved in any altercation with police, let alone be killed by police. I would probably put pretty high odds they're going to say it was a justified shooting, and I suppose you, know, you could justify it. On, on the other hand, it just seems like this was uh, you know, unnecessary as well. That's according to legal expert and attorney Stuart Katz. Meanwhile, the city of Stockton said in a statement it has yet to be served with the lawsuit. You can read more about this case on our website, abc10.com.